different answer. Oh, you will. I'll, I'll. <laughs> Julia, brave running, taking it with the Africans, rewarded with a fantastic lifetime best. Your reaction to that? Um, well, it's a, a great experience to run out there with the Africans. I mean, just want to hang in there a little bit longer next time, but it's all it's all moving that way. So, uh, yeah, it was a, a great race. Have a great personal best, but. Um, uh, looking towards that 15 minute barrier now. Definitely. Talk us through the past 12 months. I remember speaking to you last year at the National Championships. I think you run around around about 15.50. This year now you're a double Olympian, two A standards and, two, and you know, very tough events. What's, what, has there anything been changed? or? Well, I'm not an Olympian until I actually get to the start okay, line. Okay, fair enough, so forgive me. You can never get complacent. Sure. And that's the thing about this last year consistent training, keep on building and uh, you know just uh, progressing the whole way rather than uh, having any sort of disruptions to training so that, that's the key obviously uh, great support from my coach, a great team about me so it's uh, great to be. So we're not getting too excited yet but on the prospect now your last competition before the Olympics imagine it's a dream come true what are you just excited now and you just want to get out and stuck out there especially after tonight? Well I've got another couple of weeks of uh, hard training to do then I'll ease down, so every day, I'm just taking every day because I don't uh, want to stay injury free, stay moving in the right direction, so um, every day getting some good training, good relaxation and uh, get ready for that big day. Well, I was going to say, all being well, we'll see some fantastic running for you again in a few weeks' time, so congratulations. Thank you very much. So much for talking to us. Thank you.